Hey there, my name's David. On this episode, I want to discuss the importance of removing bad friends from your life. So we all have a friend like this. You know, they make plans, they always cancel. Um, maybe they kind of, you know, they're a bit of a jerk or they, they make you kind of the butt end of a joke in front of other friends or other people. And um, some people just do that naturally. They don't realize um, what they're doing. But some people, they're actually just like a bad friend in your life and you actually need to cut them out. So that's the first thing you need to do is decide what kind of friend is this? Is it someone you need to have a talk with? Or is it someone who's just never going to learn? So in my case, I have a friend I go hiking with and we've made plans 23 times in the past kind of year and a few months. And my friend, friend has canceled on me 19 out of those 23 times. So it's just, it gets to a point where it's my fault. I need to take responsibility for allowing that in my life. And you need to do the same. If you have a friend like this, um, you can try to have a talk with them, but if they just keep doing the same thing, as in with my case, my friend just keeps doing the same thing over and over and over. At that point, you just have to cut them out. Um, there's different levels of this too. You might, if you want to just full on cut them out, delete them off your Facebook, block them. Um, you can also just, you know, step back and, you know, they, be, they become like a Facebook friend that you don't interact with much. It all depends. In my case, um, my friend tends to cancel on me and sometimes will go and do that hike or whatever with someone else. <laughs> so it's, it's just like, well, you didn't want me to go, then just don't invite me. But it's almost like rubbing it in. There's a level of arrogance and, uh, yeah, I don't know, superiority or something. I don't know. I don't I don't really know, I don't care, I just I just wanna like enjoy life and I find it, it takes me down, it brings my level down, brings my energy down, my happiness down. And I get we're in control of this ourselves, but you know, it's just, we're human, they, like we're social creatures and the influences of others, our friends, the people who are supposed to have our back, if they, they do stuff like this to cut us down, it just, it's really hard to not, you know, feel this kind of emotion that comes with this territory. So. In my case, you know, there's that saying that fool me once, shame on you, fool me, fool me twice, shame on me. Well, it's now it's becoming fool me twice, three, four, five, 19 times, shame on me. <laughs> so like I keep kind of giving exceptions like, oh, well, it's this, oh, it's well that, they're going through this, they're going through that. But at a certain point, it's like, no, they're just actually a bad friend. And so if you have a friend like this, I'm sure you do, everyone has a friend like this, uh, maybe to varying degrees, maybe they don't cancel going hiking 23 or 19 times out of 23 <laughs> planned hikes. But uh, yeah, at a certain point you have to cut them out because it just really affects your mood. And one way to check this is if you think about this person and you write down the top you know, three things that come to your mind, what are those, those emotions? Just write down any word that comes to mind. Is it happy, is it joy, is it frustration, is it canceling is it you know aggravating um arrogance like what what are the words that come to mind and more often than not you'll find out that the those words are not good words and so anytime you interact with this person whether it's just a simple message on facebook or whatever you're just gonna be thinking about this stuff it brews and at a certain point where it's just not worth your energy like you'll be wasting too much of your time and your life on someone who doesn't care about you in my case my time was being disrespected so badly I got to a point where I'm like, I'm just way too nice and I should just be like, nope, I'm done, you're out. You don't deserve space in my life. And what I encourage you to do is take your your phone and look at your text messages or your Facebook messages and look at the last five people. And you want the last five people you've interacted with to be a very high quality, high caliber people. You don't want garbage people in your life. We have no space for garbage people in our lives. Life's too short to have garbage humans uh, taking up any space in our life. So just go through that and check out, you know, who you've been talking to and um, cut out people that don't deserve to be there. And sure, if maybe it's a family member and it's kind of hard, then just be more distant. Just back it off a little bit um, and spend less and less energy and your time with those people. And you, I find like for myself, it makes me a lot happier and I'm sure it'll be the same for you. Um, let me know in the comments below if you give it a shot and what the effect is for yourself. But uh, yeah. Hopefully these tips help you out as they help myself out and uh, be sure to subscribe for uh, more videos here.